Hello there, my bright and smiley faces. My name is Mrs. Malone, and I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Milwaukee Alumni Chapter. And I have the pleasure of reading a story to you today. The name of my book is Full, Full, Full of Love, written by Trish Cook, illustrated by Paul Howard. Well, I'm ready to read. Are you ready to listen? Full, full, full of love. Here's a little boy and his mom. I think they're getting ready to go someplace. We're going to find out where. On Sunday, Mama took JJ to Granny's house. I'll go get Dad, Mama said. I won't be long. Gran is soft and warm and full, full of hugs and kisses. Kiss, kiss, hugs and cuddles. Grandmothers are very special. Granny was cooking. The dinner smelled yummy. Is dinner ready, Gran? asked JJ. But Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's put out the dishes. Granny's cupboard is always full, full of colorful dishes. Clink, clank, clatter, clatter. But J.J. was hungry. Is dinner ready now, he asked. Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's feed the fish. Granny's fish tank is full, full of all kinds of fishes. Splash, splish, wiggle, wiggle. But J.J. was hungry, so J.J. asked again, Is dinner ready now, Gran? Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's. Then J.J. saw the candy tin. Granny's candy tin was full, full up to the brim. Tip, tip, struggle, juggle. Uh-oh. Gran said no, but seeing all that candy had made J.J. even hungrier than before. So he asked again, is dinner nearly ready, Gran? Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's look for the others. So they looked out the window and they waited and waited. Tick, top, snuggle, cuddle. Then J.J. saw a car come around the corner, then another and another, and the car stopped one behind the other, and out they all came. Uncles and aunties, cousins and friends, Mama and Daddy all come for Sunday dinner at Granny's. Dinner must be ready now, Gran. J.J. grinned and Gran laughed. Hmm, I think it is. There were buttery peas, chicken and yams, macaroni and cheese, potatoes and ham, biscuits, gravy, collard greens, pasta salad, Rice and red beans, there was apple pie and vanilla ice cream. 
fresh peach cobbler covered in steam, raspberry sauce, coffee and tea, plenty, plenty for everybody. Oh my goodness, it looks so delicious. JJ said, I'm going to pop. And cousin said, I have to stop. More pie, please, Uncle said. And Auntie and Mama shook their heads. Not for me. I've had enough. Granny let out a big belly laugh. Dad said, just a little bit more. And on top of his cobbler, Gran started to pour more raspberry sauce. Everybody was full, full of Granny's dinner. Yum, yum, giggle, giggle. They really enjoyed Granny's dinner. Then Granny pulled up a footstool, put up her feet and sighed. All right, you kids, one wash, one dry. That sounds familiar. That's what my mom and grandmother used to say to us after a big, delicious dinner. On Sunday, JJ had dinner at Granny's house. And when it was time to go, he climbed on Granny's lap. He kissed her and she kissed him back. And then they hugged and hugged and hugged. And full of hugs, they hugged some more. Granny's house is always full, full of hugs and kisses, full of tasty dishes, full of all kinds of fishes, full to the brim with happy faces, full, full, full of love. That Sunday dinner at Granny's house That's the end of the story. It's always wonderful when families get together and have dinner together. They share laughter, stories, and it's just a lot of fun. Thank you for listening this morning, and I will return on another day to read another Read Aloud. Have a really wonderful morning. Goodbye.